Hi everyone, welcome to the seventh episode of Sewing 101. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to sew a corner seam. Practicing this corner seam will help you get your corners to be perfect. In all of these episodes, I'll be using muslin fabric. Muslin fabric is very inexpensive. You can find it at any fabric store. It's good to use muslin so you don't mess up any good fabric you have at home. If you're new to the series, make sure to check out the first episode of Sewing 101 on how to sew straight lines. It also lets you know more about this series and what to look forward to. If you're new to sewing and you would like to learn how to use a sewing machine, I have a video on that too. I'll link that in the description box, also with the first episode of Sewing 101. I hope you enjoy this series and let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to see my latest projects, or just keep up with me, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching! You will need a 7x7 square and a 4.5x4.5 square. On the 7 inch square, cut out a 3.5x3.5 square. You can discard the 3.5 square because we won't be needing it. Use your ruler to mark a half inch seam allowance all around the border you just cut out. Draw a line at an angle to meet both corners. Mark a dot an eighth of an inch away from the corner you just marked. Cut on the line and stop at the dot. That eighth of an inch is now your seam allowance when you sew on the corner. Take your four and a half inch square and place it right sides together and line up the half inch seam allowance marking you drew. Place a pin through the corner you marked and through the 4.5 inch square so the half inch seam allowances are lined up on both pieces. Sew them together with the half inch seam allowance following the line you drew. When you get to the corner, make sure the needle goes directly into the dot you drew. You might need to lift your presser foot a little bit just so you can get the needle right through the dot. With the needle inside the corner, move the 4.5 inch square to line up with the side on the 7 inch square. Make sure the half inch seam allowance line you drew lines up with each other. Put the presser foot down and continue sewing with the half inch seam allowance. Don't forget to lock your stitches. And that's how you sew a corner seam. This is what the back side looks like. If your corner has bunches and wrinkles like this, it's probably because you didn't line up the corner with the half an inch seam allowance. So just redo it and practice again. When it's perfected, it should look something like this. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to watch upcoming episodes and fun crafty videos.